Hello, my name is Chad Castle from Acoustic Sounds, Analog Productions, and Quality Record Pressings. We also own the Vinyl Vault, which houses our rarest collectible albums that we get. Uh, we get records from all the labels, RCA, Living Stereo, Mercury Living Presence, Classical, Jazz, Pop, Audiophile stuff. So we buy, we're always on the hunt for big record collections that are in mint condition. But, you know, as time goes on, the new audio files don't know about the older labels that were kind of cool. The people that really got us from when they quit making records till now. Some of those companies were Classic Records. And Classic Records were uh, started in 1994 and they lasted about 16 years. It was Classic Records, there was Analog Productions, our label. There was uh, Alto, there was Athena, there was King Super Analog, there was DCC, there was the original MoFi, and uh, there's a few other labels that in between, between like 84 and 2000 that kept things fun and happening and you know, they were the only, we, we were like the only people putting out records. So in around 1997, there was a label started in Germany. It's called Alto Analog by Joachim Bos. And he worked along with Thomas Finn on a few projects. He worked along with Ying Tan on a few projects. Uh, we were one of his biggest dealers. And... From 1997 to about 2004, he put out about 40 records, 40 really good records. And he used Bernie Grunman and people like this to cut his records. And we'll just go through with them. Go through them. Uh, this was the first one. This is Patricia Barber's Split, then Nancy Griffith Storms, then Ahmad Jamal Live at Alhambra. This is one of the best recordings ever, especially best live recordings. If you like Waltz for Debbie, Sunday at the Village Vanguard, and those type great jazz live recordings, jazz at the pawn shop, this Ahmad Jamal Alhambra is a great record, great sound, very accessible goes for lots of money. This is Orienta edition. This is all the Orienta recordings that were done on the DECA London label. But they were on, uh, they also were done in Spain. And so these are those records. And these are very, very rare. Each one of these records or very rare and this is how they came out originally the covers by London and Decca were all different but these were the ones that came out from Spain so this is a, a great collection of records that are highly high, especially this one Concerto de, this one is very very Rodrigo very good. All of these are very good records, and some of them go for a thousand dollars a piece. Well, all of these were redone and, and put out as a box set, and we used to sell a ton of these records here. They're awesome. Very rare do I see this box set come around, and this thing is absolutely mint condition. There's a nice booklet explaining. Um, the Conductor Orienta and uh, so this was done in 1997 <laughs> then there's John Lee Hooker killer killer record great music great sound this was from Chess Pop Pop Ricky Lee Jones awesome sounding great record Shirley Horn Traveling Light out of the Cool, Gil Evans, 
uh, duets, Rob Wasserman, Killer. We also have this on our label, and we also have this one on our label, Analog Productions. Uh, Illinois Jaquette with Kenny Burrell, great record. Shelly Mann, two, three, and four from the uh, Impulse label, great record. Uh, ben Webster, see you at the fair, great record. This was their number 16 in their series. And we have this, or we did this on our uh, Impulse series, the 45. Michael Hedges, Aerial Boundaries, Charlie Bird, Bossa Nova, Bluesy Burrell, which we also did on our label. Great, great sound, great music. Uh, Cannonball Adderley, you know what I mean, with Bill Evans. And Soul Blues with Lightning Hopkins from Prestige Label. And Charlie Bird by the Sea. This is the catalog number 30. So these are all I have out of the first 30 that came out on, Impl uh, on Alto. He also had did a bunch of Decca's. Right about the same time that uh, Kai Seaman was doing Decca's at Speaker's Corner. So here's an Alto Edition Decca of one of my favorite records, Albanese Sweet Española. This is a great record. Very accessible. The Castanetas, man, they're right in the room. It's so, such a great record. So again, Joachim worked with Kai at the same time. And then Kai just really started doing more and more decas and then uh, Joachim did other records. So then Speaker's Corner is known for reissuing all the decas. So here's a couple of the alto records that they released over the years between the uh, 97 and 2004 that weren't in the numbered order of the series. They did uh, this is a Pablo, Ella Anice. This is another Pablo Afro Blue with John Coltrane. Duke's Big Four, we've reissued this before. Killer, killer record, great sounding. Boss Tenor, killer record, highly recommended. Um, we've reissued this, it's on our Prestige series. Duke Ellington, this is from Fantasy. This is an RCA, Nina Simone, sings the blues, we love her. We've also reissued this Quiet Kenny, Kenny Durham, we've also reissued the Bill Evans, the Sunday Village Vanguard, and Bobby Timmons in person is also great. All of these records are highly, highly recommended, great sound, and uh, worth getting. There's been other people doing, like Analog Productions and other labels have reissued some of them. Then they did a John Martin, they did some, uh, See, this is, I think, Pentangle. Uh, Chris Smithers, this is a great album, great artist. Jimmy Thatchery. Then they also did some steeplechase. These are highly recommended steeplechases. Uh, Archie Shep and Horace Parlin. This one, these two are like Trouble in Mind and Going Home. They're doing like gospel songs in a church, I think, in, in Denmark and Great, great sound. Shirley Horn, great title, great sound. Shirley Horn, Lazy Afternoon. Then they also reissued some EMIs like this Dostoevsky Symphony 13 with Previn, uh, Rock Mountain Off the Bells, Orf, Carmina Bram, Follow Three Cornered Hat, Follow, Follow the Knights in the Garden of Spain, and Elgar, Coronation Ode and the Barbarelli Bar conducts English music. Mama's gone, and I'm all alone. Mama's gone, all I can do is moan. So these are all the altos that I have, and I just wanted to uh, recognize alto as this as a high quality label that made some really nice records. They usually pressed at Palace in Germany, but I think they also pressed at RTI as well. So they always tried to get the best mastering engineers and the best pressing plants. And uh, like I said, I just want to uh, share the knowledge of some of the labels that came before and what, what they did and, you know, uh, to keep this, the, um, 
momentum of the vinyl rolling. And uh, so there you go, Joaquin Bose of, of Alto. We, we appreciate what he did. Thanks. And I'm hurting to the bone. Nobody to explain. The twist and Please like and subscribe for more audiophile content. Nobody to help me know.